these headless mannequins to advertise clothes cover their breasts bottom shapes they look like human beings Kano Islamic police announces ban the Islamic police force in Kano known as Isba has ordered shops to only use headless mannequins to advertise clothing uh, this is said because Islamic doctrines are against idolatry Islam France and idolatry Harun Ibn Sina the commander of the Sharia police said Bibi also quoted him saying as with the head on it looks like a human being Ugh. Yeah, you need to be more exposed. Sorry, you just sound very much underdeveloped in you know when it comes to you the capacity of your mind being exposed, you just underdeveloped there. Um IBN Sina also wants the headless mannequins to be covered at all times to show the shape of the breast and the shape of the bottom is contrary to the teachings of Sharia Islamic law. Also, some traders at Sabongari, a Christian dominated part of Kano, said expressed their displeasure with the Hizbaz order. A shop owner, Chinedu Anya, said displaying clothes and a headless mannequin. No, on headless mannequins would reduce their attractiveness to passers by and affect his business. However, while some Muslims in Kano back the order, a handful of younger Muslims have noted that the Hizbaz interpretation of some of the teachings of Islam, such as on mannequins, uh, is wrong. Uh, in March, Isba operated to arrested two men said to have sent pornographic materials to a woman the suspect was traced and arrested. That is very random. Okay, so this is giving examples of what the Isba basically arrests people for. Um, the Isba is also notorious for destroying chocolates of alcoholic drinks. A barber and his customers were also arrested for giving uh, for giving and having haircuts that were considered Isba by his bar as offensive to Islam. Of course, the Russian behind the national behind it, I don't think islam should be getting the brunt of a fact you know, the brunt of all this and because again we're going to look to islam and be like um, excuse me is this what it is but then of course it most likely 100 percent is the wrong interpretation of the same thing because why is that in other parts of the world because i'm so sorry that is it's not only niger that you practice sharia law and it's not as extreme as in other countries yes you understand that there are extremists yes but it's the same quran that a lot of people all is the uh, muslims are reading but they're not going this they're not doing this much so because you are you are deprived in um in being able to understand another perspective or being exposed um you're just underdeveloped really malnourished in that area um it really does show and unfortunately now you are using islam as an umbrella to justify the underdevelopment of your perspective and your 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 ability to to basically understand that uh, you are in a democratic state in which the isba whatever is not even legal like it's not nigeria is not an islamic state therefore islamic law will not run but look at the government the government emboldens such behavior and now this is what we're having um so it's very much sad and like now the 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 religion is not bearing the brunt of what your your underdeveloped mind just cannot seem to be able to grasp you know what i mean and and it's very very sad very sad um because they look like human beings wow wow oh wow such a i don't even know what to describe such a statement um the it's it's so it's so weird very strange um i'm so sorry but the fact that it is not a real person okay whatever you think about it that's your prerogative do your thing however it's a private business the law is not being broken with the audacity the nerve the temerity the confidence the boldness uh, the 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 strong will to to think that you can enforce such law and the fact is the government has emboldened them because they would not be held responsible this is a huge problem and uh, it is what it is at this point i mean yeah. unfortunately you have to go where you are wanted not where you are tolerated so as a business person I, through your knowledge Kano is not the best place for you to go do your business if you're gonna do any clothing business or whatever because you just don't want any stress it's already a stress for businesses just to stay afloat in night we're not even trying to say 
make profits just surviving like the the, the average is that okay the statistics is that in the first three years you know businesses go under but in the first three years your aim should really be to survive but in nigeria your aim as an entrepreneur is to survive for the lifespan of <laughs> for however long even if it's 30 years you are still trying to survive and then make profit that is literally because you cannot you can't you sh- i mean it's only a, a company that is alive and well that would make profit wouldn't it so and you would have to survive to get them um this is very much sad this is embarrassing it's just it's so sad and it's so sad that they are because they're respectful muslims around the world and then these are the people that want to represent the religion that they also represent it's just very sad very very sad um these guys always respect their rich elders and oppressed poor people like them ignorance is a sickness their brains are filled with religion alone i don't even know if to call it religion i mean what is not religion really everything's just upside down we now change definitions for things because i'm so sorry you can't call this religion <laughs> this is absolutely just not it at all um somebody says a normal isn't coming back jesus is <laughs> uh somebody here says heading to afghanistan we must separate from this evil for our future and unborn yeah it is what it is but it's so shameful it is so shameful because then it's people like this that would intimidate others promote illiteracy at its finest and you know people would have weird chains of reasoning and logic and then when you engage in conversations with them they'd have opinions that reflect this kind of isba um set of rules and then you're just like excuse me where where is your environment where did you grow up and then it's like they grew up following rules like that and of course you're like it's no surprise you turned out this way you know very sad uh somebody here says uh bunch of senseless and confused people hypocrisy at its highest order this is even worse than hypocrisy at this point i mean i i don't i don't understand i don't understand and then this has to do with the oh this now jumps into conversation of the over sexualization of women because it's not what you deem as sexual yeah you don't know what you know as a as a as somebody you can find legs or in someone's neck or someone's knee or someone's nose attractive and that would be something that would make them sin because it's like there are different parts in africa where you know um a woman's breast or her bottom are not i mean okay particularly a woman's breast they're not seen as attractive they are seen as purely for children so you sexualizing that is weird so again the over sexualization of women's bodies is now a conversation we need to talk about because sorry but all this is not making sense at all and it's just like what if you say if those are exposed it's a sin but what if somebody sees other persons or they see the, the hands on the mannequin and they also fall what what are you going to do then how do you control this is excessive control of the mind because it will have to happen in, like whatever your sin is it has to happen with you and you only so you're going to control how people sin and when they sin and when they don't sin how does that make sense it doesn't but what do you think about it and don't forget to like and subscribe